Illinois, there is a town located in western Illinois by the name of Nauvoo, which is believed to mean beautiful in the Hebrew language. Nauvoo has had a great history, but one of the greatest things in history is the exodus of the LDS people of Nauvoo. LDS stands for Latter day Saints, who are also known as Mormons. On February 10th, 1846, after the LDS leader Joseph Smith was assassinated by the people of the town, LDS people were under attack at their home, and it was decided that it was time to leave. The long exodus of nearly 1,200 miles began in Nauvoo, Illinois, to Utah and the Salt Lake City area which is now the headquarters of the LDS people today. The rights of these people were violated, and great responsibility came upon these people to make sure they were relocated safely. More details are shown in this short video clip posted by the Church of Latter-day Saints. The Saints in Nauvoo, January through July, 1841. The Saints were building Nauvoo into a beautiful city. The city grew quickly as new members of the church gathered there from England and other areas. As more people make it to Nauvoo, trouble begins to rise in the city. Trouble in Nauvoo, May through August, 1842. Thousands of saints went to live in Nauvoo. They built a beautiful city and started to build a temple. The saints chose John C. Bennett to be the mayor of Nauvoo. At first, he was a good mayor, but then he began to do bad things and turned against Joseph Smith. The people in Nauvoo wanted to have a special holiday with the soldiers of the Nauvoo Legion marching in a parade. John Bennett decided that the soldiers should have a mock battle. That meant it would be a pretend battle, not a real one. Mr. Bennett asked Joseph Smith to lead one group of soldiers in the battle, but Joseph wouldn't do it. The Holy Ghost had told Joseph that John Bennett was planning to use the battle to have him killed. John Bennett was angry. Because John Bennett had turned against the prophet and done other bad things, he was excommunicated from the church and was no longer the mayor of Nauvoo. Joseph Smith became the new mayor. John Bennett became bitter. He left Nauvoo and began to say and write bad things about Joseph Smith and the church. He also got other people to join him. Joseph Smith told some of the men of the church that the saints would have more trouble. Someday they would have to leave Nauvoo. Joseph foresaw that they would go to the Rocky Mountains and build cities there. Hey guys, JJ here. Um, I'm just here to answer just a couple simple questions like what has really happened so far and uh, why it has happened and simple questions like why Joseph Smith was leader and why he was murdered for that matter. And maybe some questions that might pop up, what the Book of Mormon is and what the whole religion is about. So, born in Vermont in 1805, Smith claimed in 1823 that he had been visited by a Christian angel named Moroni. This angel Moroni spoke to him of an ancient Hebrew text that had been lost for 1,500 years. The holy text, supposedly engraved on golden plates by a Native American historian in the 4th century, related to the story of Israelite people who lived in America in ancient times. During the next six years, Smith dictated an English translation of this text to his wife and other scribes. And in 1830, the Book of Mormon was published. In the same year, Smith founded the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So, after this, religion started to rapidly grow and gain a lot of converts, and Smith set up Mormon communities in Ohio, Missouri, and Illinois. Nauvoo, Illinois, for that matter, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. However, the Christian sect of Mormonism was also heavily criticized for its un unorthodox practices, such as polygamy, but that's not practiced anymore. In 1844, Smith announced his candidacy for the presidency of the United States. Although he did not have great enough appeal to win, the idea of Smith as president increased anti-Mormon people, really, and a group of dissenting Mormons began publishing a newspaper that was highly critical of the practice of polygamy and of Smith's leadership. Joseph Smith had that press destroyed. The ensuing threat of violence prompted Smith to call out a militia in the Mormon town of Nauvoo, Illinois. He was charged with treason and conspiracy by Illinois authorities and imprisoned with his brother Hiram Smith in the Carthage City Jail. On June 27, 1844, an anti-Mormon mob stormed in and murdered the brothers. So two years later, Smith's successor Brigham Young, which also is a kind of the founder of Brigham Young University, led an exodus of persecuted Mormons from Nauvoo along the western wagon trails in search of religious and political freedom. In July 1847, 148 initial Mormon pioneers released Utah's Valley of the Great Salt Lake. Upon viewing the valley, 
Brigham Young declared this is the place, and the pioneers began preparations for the tens of thousands of Mormon bridegrooms who would follow them to set a So here is another short clip to follow. More trouble for the saints, 1843 through 1844. Most of the people who lived near Nauvoo were not members of the church. Many of them did not like the saints and began to make trouble for them. Some of the people gathered together in mobs. They stole the saints' animals and burned their barns and homes. They tried to get the saints to leave Nauvoo. The police and the soldiers would not stop the mobs. The governor would not help the saints. Joseph Smith had told the saints in Nauvoo that they would have trouble. He knew that someday they would have to leave Nauvoo and go far away to a place where no one would bother them. Joseph Smith had a meeting with the apostles and some other men. He told them to find a place where the saints could live if they had to leave Nauvoo. Joseph looked at maps of the land. The maps showed a place where there were tall mountains and wide valleys. Joseph knew this would be a good place for the saints. Some people in Nauvoo who had been members of the church turned against it. They hated Joseph Smith and wanted to kill him. They started a newspaper and wrote bad things about Joseph and the saints. City leaders in Nauvoo were angry about the newspaper. Because it published lies, these leaders felt they had legal authority to stop it. Some men went to the newspaper building and burned the newspapers and destroyed the printing press. This caused the enemies of the church to be even more angry. So there it is. At the beginning of the Exodus in Nauvoo, the saints decided that they weren't safe there and they needed to get out with it. So they decided to start moving west. And then that was the beginning of the Exodus in Nauvoo. The rights were violated and the responsibility came upon these people.